Okay, today we will show you about the free radical substitution mechanism. So from here we have ethane, chlorine gas. For the condition of free radical substitution, we need UV light or you can heat it from 300 to 400 degrees Celsius. The product we will form is 1 chloroethane and hydrogen chloride. The three main important steps involved, which is initiation step, propagation step, and termination step. First of all, initiation step only involves your halogen, which is your chlorine gas. So from here, chlorine gas will break the bond to form a free radical. Then we move on to the propagation step, or better known as the chain reaction. Okay, so from here, your ethane will be involved in the propagation step. Cl, which is your radical, free radical, will extract one of the hydrogen from your ethane, forming an, an ethyl radical and product of HCl will be formed. After that, your ethyl radical will react with your Cl to form one chloroethane and another free radical here. Now, we reach the last step, which is the termination step, where the radical will collide to form a neutral compound. So from here, you can see that both free radical of Cl will combine together to form a Cl2, and then the ethyl radical will combine again to form a neutral compound here. Then we have a ethyl and a chlorine radical forming one coral ethane. Therefore, here is all the steps that we needed for the mechanism.